Hey there, welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the latest updates on the exciting world of cryptocurrencies. In today's video, we have some thrilling news to discuss. BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager, has made headlines with its recent filing for the iShares Bitcoin Rust. What does this mean for the future of crypto? Let's dive right in. BlackRock's move to file for a spot Bitcoin ETF has certainly taken the financial world by surprise. After years of rejection by the US Securities and Exchange Commission, this prominent filing has the potential to bring much-needed legitimacy to the Bitcoin market. As the largest asset manager globally, BlackRock's involvement would be a welcome facelift to the current landscape of high-fee and imperfect Bitcoin ETFs. But should investors rush to buy this fund if it hits the market? Well, that's a question we need to explore. Bitcoin's volatility and uncertain future make it a unique asset. Unlike traditional investments, there isn't a fundamental value to rely on for investors. So, this consideration should be at the forefront of our minds, even above the fund structure itself. Currently, the Bitcoin ETF market in the US is divided into three types of funds. Grant Hurt Trusts, futures-based ETFs, and Bitcoin-adjacent equity funds. BlackRock's proposed spot Bitcoin ETF would create a fourth category, as it doesn't fit into the existing ones. This new addition could revolutionize the market and offer investors more diverse options. Let's talk about the competition. The largest Bitcoin offering in the US is the Grayscale Bitcoin Rust, ticker GBTC. While it operates like a closed-end fund, the iShares Bitcoin Rust would function more like a traditional ETF. This means authorized participants would have the opportunity to create and redeem shares at the net asset value, ensuring the ETF's price aligns with its value. Grayscale, on the other hand, doesn't allow redemptions, leading to significant price discrepancies. One of the advantages of a spot Bitcoin ETF, like the one proposed by BlackRock, is its ability to track Bitcoin's price closely. Unlike futures-based ETFs, which introduce additional costs and differences due to rolling contracts, a spot Bitcoin ETF could provide a more direct and cost-effective way to invest. Lower fees would also be a welcome change for investors, as Grayscale currently charges a 2% fee, while the ProShares Bitcoin Strategy ETF charges 95 basis points. Why BlackRock has decided to file a Bitcoin ETF? After all, there have been over 30 previous filings, with no gaining approval. Well, it could be due to various factors. The ongoing lawsuit between Grayscale and the SEC, as well as BlackRock's partnership with Coinbase, might have influenced their timing. We'll have to stay tuned to find out their ultimate motivations. Speaking of the SEC, the regulatory body is pushing back against the wave of Bitcoin ETF filings by asset managers like BlackRock and Fidelity. The agency is seeking further clarity and information before considering these applications for approval. While this delay may be disappointing, it's important for the SEC to ensure investor protection and address any concerns they might have. Despite the setbacks, the growing interest in Bitcoin ETFs has brought renewed enthusiasm to the crypto space. Everyday investors are excited about the potential accessibility of digital assets. This surge in interest has even led to a boost in token prices, with Bitcoin recently surpassing $30,000. While we're not quite at all-time highs, the potential for a Bitcoin ETF approval could be a game-changer. What does this mean for the future of crypto? Well, if approved, the iShares Bitcoin Rust would be the first ETF in the US to directly track the price of Bitcoin. This development could bring a wave of institutional investors into the crypto market, further solidifying its position as a valuable asset class. It's an exciting prospect that could open new doors for crypto enthusiasts and investors alike. In an impressive show of strength, Bitcoin has soared beyond the highly anticipated $30,000 milestone. This remarkable achievement comes after a year of fluctuations between $22,000 and $28,000, leaving experts curious about Bitcoin's potential if it could break through the $30,000 barrier. Well, it seems that moment has finally arrived, and the market is buzzing with excitement. Bolstered by its impressive market capitalization, which has reached 50% dominance for the first time since its record-breaking highs in 2021, Bitcoin's value represents half the entire market cap of 1.1 trillion. It's not just BlackRock expressing interest. Other prominent asset management entities also indicate their intention to enter the market. This development holds great potential for Bitcoin and could pave the way for even more significant growth in the near future. However, the motivations behind these significant moves are still the subject of speculation. The market is eagerly observing, 
hoping to discern whether these influential financial players genuinely perceive the crypto market as legitimate, or if they are strategically positioning themselves for what lies ahead. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated on all things crypto. Until next time, happy investing and thanks for watching.